I didn't want my son to see me being beaten every day. I want my son to have a different life, to be respected of others and to respect women and be able to have a, a life that he deserves as a child. Run to a shelter, run to a friend. Run for my life before it comes to an end. Run to a shelter, run to a friend. Run for my life before it comes to an end. I am gonna run far away from here. I won't repeat this part of my life. It's over and left. Pieces, excuses, pieces, excuse me. Domestic abuse is something that enough people don't appreciate or understand. When the person has power and control over the other one. Physical or emotional abuse. Obsessive or abusive control of people. Financial abuse. Sexual abuse. Physical abuse. Verbal abuse. Not allowing someone to make their own decisions. It's very cultural. It's about power and control. Certainly everyone thinks about the batterer, but that's just one aspect of a much, much bigger problem. Where do I go? How do I get there? How do I support myself? How do I support my children? It's really scary to think starting a different life, especially when you think you can't do it on your own. You're not good enough. They have been abused for so long that they lost this idea of uh, self, who I am what I'm doing, what I'm going, what I want from life. You never know when that uh, batterer is gonna show up at your grocery store, at your dentist, your children's school. Domestic violence, I, I never thought that it affects more than just the person that's being violated. Children can't attend to and start learning if they're so all consumed with these very adult situations. That also has devastating consequences in terms of their long-term social emotional development. The kids are put in a, a situation that they didn't, they didn't ask for. How painful it is to be in the middle. These kids try to defend their mothers. When you don't have the boys, when you are little, a husband actually shot and killed his ex-wife in front of their daughter. My sister was murdered by her boyfriend. Literally had seconds to get her out of that house. The risk was so great that she actually had to be relocated out of state. If we were aware of it, it wouldn't have happened. From that point on, I've always become involved in, in, with organizations like this. It's just something that I feel we need to do. Respond provides the advocacy, provides the helping hand, leads the survivor through the legal process, our founders were very, very committed to making sure that Respond would shelter families with teenage boys. Do I leave my son behind versus going into the safety of shelter? That seems like a decision that no one should ever have to make. What I do is just to be there for them, to make them remember the person they were before this relationship and try to make goals for life because they don't have any more. I have two cards on my desk. When I have a victim, I hand them my card, and the second card I hand them is respond. The next thing I say to them is, when you have questions, or you need a safety plan, or you need some support, you need locks changed, you need financial support, you need food on the table, go to respond. They're the agency that's gonna assist you in it. Hello, how can I help you? Are you looking to come into shelter? It's an incredibly respectful environment. We can serve someone fully who is in a wheelchair. There's a kitchen where you can actually do your own cooking. Other shelters are much more regimented about you eat at this time and you are only allowed in the kitchen at this time. We can house three families of five in the shelter at one time. Each family will share a room. There are usually two sets of bunk beds. When the parents tuck their children in at night, they know where they are, the quilts are for children, the children can feel safe, and the parents can feel safe. The favorite room that the kids like in the shelter is the playroom. 
That's a room where we go and have fun. That's a room where we go and try to learn. Little girls love to play in the housekeeping area. Their pretend play actually move them from that reality that they live. When you walk in, you can really feel this cycle of violence is, is going to get broken. Because of the work that we do, we are ensuring that future generations will know about domestic violence, be more educated about it, and hopefully we'll be able to eradicate it and put ourselves out of a job. Responsive my life and my kids.